All right, guys, welcome back to the shack. And today I got a bit of a treat for some of you guys. A lot of you have been asking me, hey, what do you know about the UV printer that Xtool has coming out? And for the past few weeks, since they kind of made it known and hinted it that it was coming, nobody's really known. Well, while we were at CES this past week, uh, Steve and I from Vintari's Workshop was able to get into the VIP booth and get a little bit of a sneak peek at the machine and what it looks like currently. Now, the machine still, uh, they're still finishing up some of the stuff they don't want to see in or showing you guys. So you're just going to get to see basically what they allowed us to look at, which gives you a good idea of what the machine's capable of. We did get to watch the machine run some tests and the results that I saw, you know, with my limited knowledge of UV printing, they look pretty good. I think it's definitely something to be watching. So I'm going to just kind of bring you guys along, let you see what we saw in the VIP booth. So today you're getting the VIP access to Xtool's new UV printer. So let's check it out. Yeah, and this one is Xtool UV printer and we will launch at quarter two. So now just it's a really earlier stage of this machine. So we showed it. This is our first time to show this machine. Just give it yes. Yeah. Right. And this machine can print wireless material like the metal, like the glass, like the LED. Just different types of material. Even leather. You can look at this is leather. This is acrylic mirror, acrylic, and silicone. Also, equity too yeah and this is lenticular part we can print on lenticular part just really interesting and really amazing right yeah mm -hmm. and we also can combine with different kind of machine this one just combined with 3d printer so this is a PLA material and we on the surface we will print the Print by UV printer, iCraft, yeah. right? And we also can print on wood, wood, right? So this machine can be compatible with our brand's other machine, laser cutter, laser engraver. So that means we can do print and cut or cut and print just in a really smooth workflow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so that means you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to positioning again. You don't have to just switch the software. That would be really great workflow. Does, does, is, does this one actually have a camera in there for, for placing the uh, items or is that is that coming? Actually, we have the technique to make it really precise. Oh, um, is it just, you're just doing this like a, a frame? Uh, it's not frame, but we cannot tell now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We will launch more detailed information later before we launch this machine at Cover 2. That, that has been a long time. So we will okay. update the information step by step. So okay. stay tuned, everyone. Sure. Oh, and, yeah. yeah, and we have two different bands. The first one, just the smaller one, just 330 millimeter by 150 millimeter. And the bigger yeah. one, just this one, just the A3 size. Okay. Uh, so you also can open it because we have the camera, so you can maybe yeah. put more longer thing. That's okay. Yeah. 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 So it can, it'll be kind of like like with the lasers, where it has the conveyor that goes in and out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And we also have some attachment. This one is the roller attachment, rotary attachment. Yeah. So we can compatible with different kind of shape uh, of tumbler. Uh, like the this kind of shape is not matched by other UV printer because it has some curve and it also really big and long. So but in our machine we can we can can compare this kind of shape. So it'll work with the the concave part, it, it doesn't have to be like a straight tumbler. Yeah, saying. right. We don't have to straight. Yeah. But we cannot do the full color because it has the high distance. If the high distance is bigger than five millimeters, 
meter, you cannot do the full gram because it will collapse the green hand. But it'll detect that and tell you like this. Oh yeah, you right? can you can detect okay. right. So I actually have one of the UFI oh, ones. Yeah. They send me a, a free unit to do. And the tumbler thing is nice, but it is very picky about the shape and the size and the pop. So, yeah, how we can do different types of shape. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely a lot better. Right, right. We think so. Uh, and at the same time, we have a filter inside the shape. So, you can, when you come into the room, you didn't see really bad smell, right? Because we have the filter, we also can, you, if you always, if you worry about the safety, also can connect the AP2. Right, also yes. connect AP2. So, that port on back? Very nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it will be really safe to use at home. And also, we will just uh, optimize the maintenance system. And we hope our customer have a really low cost in ink and yeah. really easy to maintain. So, I assume it has like an ink storing system to do that, and yeah. maybe like a moisturizing. Yeah, we have circulation system. Right. Okay. Can we watch it do that? Can we watch it from here? Also, <laughs> can we? Nice. All right, so there you have it, guys. Like I said, with X Tool, I've worked with them for quite a while on different machines, lasers, and whatnot. Uh, I've always liked their product, and I found that their product, typically the software, has gotten to where it's very intuitive, simple, easy to use. It kind of walks you through the processes uh, to make sure that you don't mess up on anything. So I think that's going to be one thing that X Tool is going to be really good at. Maybe some of the other companies, you know, may not be as good at those type of things. So the printer seems to be pretty cool. Uh, like I said, we didn't get to look at a whole lot of the real technical under the hood stuff. But generally speaking, the aesthetic of the machine, the product that it produces, the fact that they have the filters built in, you can use uh, the AP2 as well. All of these things combined, I think this is going to be something that a lot of people wouldn't mind having in their home and it's gonna enable makers of all sorts to do UV printing as well as DTF. Uh, we did ask while we were there, uh, there are plans to, in case you missed it in the video, there's gonna be a conveyor. They already have the rotary uh, set up for the machine. Uh, they did tell us also that they're going to have a bit of a, like a roller for DTF. They've already got all of that stuff. Uh, in the works. So it sounds like this machine is going to be very versatile and is going to take folks that have lasers that are cutting out things of acrylic from wood, from whatever else. It's going to add you one more plane uh, of, of creative outlet with the same software. Because traditionally speaking, XTool software, uh, you know, whether it be the M1 Ultra, which was the like, you know, cutter printer machine or one of the other lasers it's the same software you just open a different tab so i think that's something that a lot of people are going to appreciate about the machine 
So for now, guys, that's all we've got. You heard what we heard. You saw what we saw. So I hope you enjoyed the little peek behind the curtain and access to the VIP booth, as they lovingly called it. And uh, until next time, be safe and have a good day.